Hey guys, how's it going? Underground Geek here. So I got a new video for you guys. Um, we're going to do the pull list of the week. I'm going to talk about all the books that I'm getting and the ones that I can suggest for everybody else so that you don't waste your money. Sound good? Um, and I think I just found a new one, but it's that Usagi uh, Yojimbo, The Hidden. That's a new book coming out with uh, the Usagi guy, so you may want to check that out if you like that kind of stuff. It's issue number one, so you can get you know started on it fresh. So I just saw that when I thought, hey, I'll you know I'll tell somebody about that. So let's look and see what else we have. Now, of course, you, you're going to get Aquaman. Um, it's a great story so far. Uh, I really like it. This. Uh, Rebirth series is crazy. I just noticed Aquaman's freaking head on that trident right there. That's crazy. That's crazy. So the Ocean Master is fixing to show back up. They teased him in the last issue. Um, so, moving on. We have uh, Batman Ninja Turtles 2, issue number 5. I've read issues 1 through 4 so far, and it's actually pretty interesting. You know, it's not anything just crazy. But uh, it feels like a Ninja Turtles book with Batman in it, you know. So it's pretty good. I like it so far. Uh, they're playing around with Bane's, Bane's Venom Serum, getting everybody jacked. So that's kind of cool. Uh, the next one is going to be Batman issue number 43. Uh, this feels like a mini arc to get you ready for another story, you know, to kind of use up the time until the next series comes along. But it's pretty interesting because Ivy has showed up and just like mind controlled everybody on the planet. She even has the Justice League. Everybody except for what they know of is Batman and uh, Catwoman. They took a serum that fixed them for the time being. It's only temporary. So now they're having to deal with that. Superman's hovering outside their house. So it's like, what, you know, what do you do? So moving on. The Brave and the Bold Batman and Wonder Woman number two is also a very fun series it's out of content continuity a uh, story of them in like a celtic folk land with fairies so that's pretty awesome you have batman and wonder woman having to figure out what to do there and it's done by liam sharp it's written and drawn by liam sharp and he's a very very nice guy so definitely check that out and very talented so we've got damage issue number three issue number two was a lot better than issue number one and then I can imagine that issue three will be even better because you've got Wonder Woman in it. So she's going to be fighting damage because he just like one manned the entire uh, Suicide Squad with no problem. So uh, she's got to take him on now. Uh, and then you've got Dead Man number five. I kind of just, you know, dropped off and completely forgot about this series because it's so nuts. But uh, you may want to give it a try. Uh, but it is completely crazy. Like, Neil Adams has lost his mind. Um, so the next one we got is Green Lantern, uh, Green Lanterns, with an S, issue number 43. Now, these issues are going for a long way. you got issue number 43. Marvel can barely even get a series with 20 issues. And these are on 43. And these are backup characters. So, uh, it's a pretty interesting story so far. You've got this uh, superhero love app. And then it turns out that they're... Shocker, they're capturing the superheroes and using their powers, so the Green Lanterns have to stop them. Uh, Harley Quinn has a Frank Cho cover. I don't read Harley Quinn, but if you're a fan of Frank Cho, he's, he did a cover there, so you may want to pick it up. Uh, you know, just, you know, you might like it. I don't know why, but you might. Justice League number 41 is very interesting because you have this, I can't remember what his name is, but he's pretty much Black Panther. And uh, he's fighting the Justice League, so that's going to be kind of interesting. Um, if you like Nightwing, they got new Nightwing. Uh, Super Sons is out, and uh, Jorge Jimenez did a cover on it. It's a it's a really good series, and it's actually ending. Like it's getting ready to end. So if you're if you're wanting to catch up on it, you know you better hurry, or you can just wait till the book comes out. Um, Superman has another issue. <clears throat> issue number 43 this is pretty fun because they had the bizarro verse there's this whole universe that's bizarros and now that they've broken free into our uh 
universe, it's like, what's going to happen now? And you even have Superboy as a Bizarro kid. Boy Zaro. So it's a pretty fun story. Like I said before, this feels like, you know, it's a, uh, a time killer arc, just like the Batman arc, to get you ready for the next arc that's coming. So I think it'll be pretty fun. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else we have here. Um, I don't really see a whole lot till we get to Marvel. I thought that there was a Go Go Power Rangers, but we'll find out. Let's see it. We've got Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows. Everybody seems like it. It's Jody Hauser, so it's bleh. But for some reason, she does a pretty good job on this series. I think this is more her shtick. And uh, it's pretty fun so far because it shows the dynamic of a family with the spider family and how a family actually uh, acts. And it doesn't make Spider-Man to be out to be a complete wimp, so that's pretty good. Um, we have... Let's see. Avengers is out. Some people are saying this new Avengers is pretty good. I like the U.S. Avengers, and it's got that tie-in of them, so that's kind of cool. Um, we have Cable. Cable just got a new artist. So uh, it's like their fourth artist. John Malin's off of it. So we'll see how this new order, artist you know, stacks up against John Malin because he's, he's amazing as like a 90s, very 90s artist. So... Definitely check that out. The story's good by itself, so. Um, Doctor Strange Damnation has a very cool cover. Like, I, I ordered that just for that cover, because that's really cool. But they said the story is actually pretty decent, because Donny Cates is actually, like, helping Nick Spencer write this. So it's not just complete trash. Donny Cates is going to end up being, like, the top writer at Marvel. Um... You know, they've got Greg Pak writing Incredible Hulk now, so I don't know if that's going to help things or hurt it since he's doing World War Hulk all over again. Uh, we have Iron Fist uh, by Ed Brisson, and uh, he's very good at writing Iron Fist. He makes him be just awesome and very manly, so that's good. Um, there's this new Iron Man uh, Hong Kong Heroes uh, so I don't know how good that's going to be because once again they're putting a female character in an Iron Man suit and now she's Asian instead of black. So I'm kind of over it already and it's not even out. But we'll see how it goes, you know. Um, and they've got some guy writing it named Howard Wong, so we'll have to see how that goes. But I don't know, they're kind of they've kind of killed me so far. I trust them like zero percent when it comes to this kind of stuff. I almost bought this. It's a uh, Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man um, uh, Hughes cover, Adam Hughes cover. Adam Hughes is a very good artist, and uh, but it's fifteen dollars. So I was like, eh. But if you like that kind of thing, they do have it for sale. Um, now here's the thing that got me. I went to go buy uh, Thanos as it came out. It sold out. Thanos was sold out already by Saturday. It was sold out. The book doesn't even come out till Wednesday. That is crazy. So either they're doing a low print count or people are buying the crap out of it. And I know it's a really good story. Donny Cates is, is awesome. So, But that was just crazy to me. I thought, wow, I mean, what the heck? Um, I also got the Venom uh, True Believers for this month. You had Dark Origin and you had... Uh, Venom Flashpoint so I went ahead and got those they're only a dollar guys so if you want those classic stories get them um, trying to see if there's anything else pretty sure yeah here we go 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 Power Rangers issue number eight uh, so far the story is really cool uh, but they're they're doing like a I don't, it looks like an evil Megazord fighting the regular Megazords. So I don't know how that's going to go. Um, it looks pretty awesome, so I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Uh, when we uh, left them, they were at prom, and uh, it turns out that Kimberly's boyfriend is a monster and not the real boyfriend. So they're trying to fight him, and it's it's very interesting. So I I really like the story. I really like the aspect of the characters, how they handle everything. It's very fun. 
they're awesome at the same time they're uh, funny so definitely check that out uh, but that's pretty much all I got uh, guys that's what I that's my picks for the month uh, there's a couple other random ones you could check out and see if you like them like journey and a couple of the other ones but I don't know guys but uh, thanks for watching the video hit the like button hit the subscribe button now there's another thing that I want to start to talk about here uh, it's another hashtag event that I want to start and uh, this one's very important to me uh, crumble point on YouTube and Twitter that's crumble point in case you didn't hear me uh, he has a YouTube and a Twitter and he was talking about this thing with the Zack Snyder uh, Justice League cut called Bicot. and he was saying if you want to make things better if you want these companies to do better you can't just go around saying I'm not going to buy your stuff because you're going to say F off like you know the people are jerks and eventually they're going to say that um, so when he was talking about that he says what we need to do is we need to buy the stuff and tell them whether it's good or not and we need to buy good stuff and if it's bad we don't buy it anymore and we tell them why we're not buying it anymore uh, but we did buy it and we tell them why it's not good and then we go and buy the good things and uh, that's kind of what we were already doing before because we saw that the boycott wasn't working they were pretty much saying well whatever you're not buying it you don't have a say so uh, so what we need to do is we need to start something new and I'm going to start a new hashtag with crumble point and with a bunch of my other friends and I hope that they take up this up and take this seriously and spread the word we're going to start this new uh, hashtag called hashtag buy caught. so it's buy caught. and uh, so boycott just take out the O and put a U and we're going to post our books when we buy them we're going to hashtag buy caught and uh we're gonna we're gonna tag what you need to do is tag all the writers and artists in the books that you're that you bought let them know that you like the books and they're doing a good job or let them know you know if this wasn't your thing get on there and just say you know in a nice way hey this wasn't really my book but maybe the next one will be good and uh, i think if we do that kind of stuff it's going to kill them with kindness so to speak and it's going to get a lot of attention and i think it's really going to work uh, so we definitely need to do this, but it's going to take everybody because we don't have the sub count that some of these other people have. So we're really going to have to push this movement. Everybody's going to have to get into it and do it because if we can do this, if we can show them that we're not part of a group think and that we're part of our own individual sales and that we just want good books, then I really think that's going to help things. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, it's just fun. It's not anything that you have to do, but I really would appreciate if you did but do hashtag boycott whenever you buy your books and and post that and tag all the writers and artists and let them know what you think but all right guys thanks for watching the video uh hit the like button hit the subscribe button i really appreciate you guys and uh, you can support me on maker support you can also go to my teespring in the comments section and check out my t-shirts i got some funny t-shirts that you guys are going to like but all right guys i'll talk to you later underground geek out